Did you know that PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 controllers both use the same analog stick technology? Do you know what that means? Stick drift. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix controller drift on PS5 and PS4 controllers. Follow this step-by-step -step tutorial and your stick drift should improve massively. Enjoy the video. So today I'm going to be showing you three quick and easy methods to fix stick drift on your PlayStation controller. And this is easy, it requires no tools and no taking apart your controller, which is really nice. And here is just an example in-game, I'm not touching the analog sticks, yet my character is still moving on screen, which is the problem. So for method number one, the first thing I want you to do is, I want you to slightly pull out your analog stick, sort of push it to the side and blow into the space that's created. I want you to do this all the way around your analog stick that's causing you grief. What this is going to do is it's essentially going to move the particles and dust buildup in there if you have any. And this is similar to an N64 cartridge where you sort of blow into it and it just magically seems to work. I'm not exactly sure why, but this is one of the few methods that I've had that it was success. So for method number two, what we're going to be doing is I want you to push your analog stick up and forward and I want you to press underneath the analog stick. Again, this just seems to remove any of the dust and particles inside and you want to work your way around the entire analog stick. And if you've tried both of these methods, you should probably see an improvement. If not, we have method number three, which I think is the best. So what I want you to do now is push down on your analog sticks for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you want to rotate your analog sticks in a clockwise direction five times. And then you want to go backwards five times counterclockwise. After you've done these three methods, you should see a huge improvement in your analog stick drift. It should not be as drastic as before. And if it's still kind of bad, then I'd recommend that you either take apart your controller and clean it or consider buying a new one. So if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, make sure to like the video and click on the screen right now if you want to know how to boost your PlayStation performance.